Well, for folks, nice to see you on this Thursday lunchtime. Also, a warm welcome to the ladies on the phones. As usual, the words for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, Ian's details are there also. We are here to pray, so let's calm ourselves and start by saying together. No one has seen God. God's only Son, who is nearest to the Father's heart, has made him known. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear us, shepherds of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock. You who sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth. Awaken your might. Come and save us. Restore us, O God. Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. Today's psalm is Psalm 19. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voices is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from his feet. The law of the Lord is perfect reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is your servant warned, in keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sin. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless, innocent of great transgression? May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Shall we say the prayer that Jesus taught us? The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Still in Luke's Gospel. We're reading chapter 12, verses 32 to 34. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will not be exhausted, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your heart is, there your heart will be also. Shall we pray together? God, our hope, we rejoice that you became flesh and made your dwelling among us, and we long for your return. As we wait for your coming again, and for the end of sorrow, pain, and death, we are bold to ask in the name of Jesus for your kingdom to be made known among us now. 
lead us by the dominion of your spirit to pray for ourselves and our suffering world. We now have a time of silent prayer where you can pray for the things which are on your heart. We pray in silence. Shall we pray together? Eternal God, for whom all people wait and search, even when they do not know it, open the eyes of the blind that they might see you. Open our eyes that have been closed by fear or blinded by self-pity, that we might see you, even in the anxieties and uncertainties of our time. And in seeing you, be both comforted by your presence and made uncomfortable enough to seek to save you, who is and was and is to come. Amen. Eternal God, you have set before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, he will do it. Amen. Thanks again, God, for listening to our prayers today. Hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.